ladies, how are we today? I hope that all is well. Um, welcome to my Thursday video of randomness, I guess. Um, I actually have a haul for you today. It includes nothing but nail supplies. The majority of the supplies that I bought were for acrylic nails because many of you know that I do my own acrylic nails and I'm trying to venture out and try some new things and get better at doing my acrylics at home. Um, just because it does save me a lot of money, but I want it to be better and higher quality at home and it takes practice and there's really no other way to get past that so um, actually curiosity is what caused this haul if many of you saw my video yesterday over um, a haul from random places I went to Sally Beauty Supply and I actually bought a package of red colored tips that you put on your nails and put the acrylic over them and so I'm excited to try those but they were like $10 for one pack of tips and I want to kind of up my collection of different colored tips so I have variety and things like that so I got online and I started searching for colored tips to try to see if I could find a better deal and I found an awesome website that I had never heard of before and I ordered um, like four boxes of tips from there and, and a couple other just cheap nail supplies. So the website I am talking about is tmart.com. Have any of you ever heard of this? Because I didn't until like one week ago. Anyway, this is just a little, I guess, pamphlet that came with my order that talks about some items they're selling. Uh, to be honest, most of the things that they sell on the website aren't your high-end products. They're, you know, just kind of generic products, just kind of cheap, basic supplies. But sometimes you just need some basic supplies and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money so I actually did a pretty big order but it was very very affordable now one thing that is interesting about this website is after you buy things you can review them and when you review them you get 10 points and that's worth 10 cents I believe if I have the exchange right so if you order 10 items and you go on there and just leave a short little review about the item, what you thought of it, um, that would give you 100 points, which is basically a dollar off whatever you order next, okay? Um, and then you can also earn extra points above the 10 points if you, like, take a picture of it. Um, I think that's like an extra 20 points or something. Or if you, like, shoot a video of it or something, you could put that on there for extra points. So that's where I'm at now. Um, I guess I'll try to submit this video just because it could get me points. I don't know. Um, anyway, so it only took a week to get here. It came in one of these big old mailer things. Um, it only took a week because, I believe it only took a week, because you can order things from their U.S. warehouse or there's also an international warehouse. I didn't want to wait a long time because I'm impatient. So I filtered out everything that was through the international warehouse and only bought things from the U.S. warehouse. So I think that's why it got here quicker. But next time I order, they had a lot more variety at the international warehouse. So next time I think I'll order some things from that warehouse. Um, hopefully that's making sense. Um, let's see. Everything I'm about to show you costs exactly $50.62 and I got 13 different items for that price. So I did my math here and I divided that out. So that averages out to around $3.90 an item, which is very, very affordable. So um, I'm going to show you the things that I got and maybe you'll find some things you've been looking for at a good price and you might be interested in ordering as well. So inside of the little mailer was this big old thing of bubble wrap and some more bubble wrap. So they definitely tried to protect the items. Another thing is that the entire website ships everything for free. So if you want to go on there and spend like $4, it's still free shipping. Now it's probably not the fastest shipping in the world, but it's free, so who cares, right? Um, okay, so let's get started. The first item that I got is just a clear um, case to hold nail tips, and it actually got dinged up just a little bit despite their efforts to protect it. That's not their fault. It's not broken, but it's just got a little 
mark on it, I guess, some some road rash. Um, and I wrote my prices on here so I could tell you. This was $3.75, so it was about $4.00. And I have some extra nail tips from just different sets, and I want to um, consolidate them into just one place. So that is my intention for this, and that was $3.75. The next item I got was just some acrylic powder. It comes in this little baggie. This was $5.57, um, and it is just basic acrylic powder. Again, I'm not sure how high quality it is. It's probably not, you know, anything amazing. It's probably not professional quality. I'm not sure. Um, it just says crystal powder and I just got the clear powder. I'm not into like the pink and white manicure yet. Maybe when I get better, I, I will be, but I just use clear and that's it. So I picked up some extra acrylic powder. Um, the next four items that I got were color tips. That was the whole point of shopping because I want to kind of get a whole bunch of different color tips so if my friends come over I can give them some options or whatever. Um, so the first ones I got, I kind of just bought the cheapest ones they had because I'm not really picky. Um, these are just powder pink, really pretty, just kind of baby pink. These were $3.63 for a whole pack. That is why I was excited because at Sally, I paid $10 for one pack and these are $3.63. So I can get two, almost three for the price of one um, at Sally Beauty Supply. This actually has a glue, if you can see that in there. It comes with a free nail glue. And I like that it comes in a hard case instead of just a plastic bubble package because then that will last a little bit longer and not get banged up. So that was my first set of tips. My second set of tips were very basic. They are just black. I got these because they were on sale. They were only $3.60 and these will be cute around Halloween or if you just want to do something with gold or silver or even white. I mean black is very useful. So I got some basic black tips. These ones again have a glue. You can see that in the top there. They come with a little nail glue. The third set of tips that I got are super weird and super cute. I'm trying to turn them where you can see them. They have ladybugs on them. So they're just white tips with little ladybugs. I thought they were interesting. Um, these were $4.80, so they were a couple cents more than the other tips. They were turned all nice a second ago. All right, you can see them. Um, and they have just a little ladybug towards the top. That will be really cute in summer, and it's I like unique and weird things on my nail. I guess on my nails, I'm kind of weird and I don't know. I'm probably garish or cartoonish, I don't know. But there we go, I thought those were interesting, so I got those. And my fourth and final box of tips was these cute little zebra prints. These were 417. These ones also come with a little nail glue and they come in the harder case that is gonna last more than just a plastic one. So I got four sets of nail tips there. And the next item I got was some more acrylic powder. This is kind of, uh, the powder has gotten a little bit loose inside there. But these are 12 acrylic powders in different colors. There's not a whole bunch in each little container. You can kind of see the little fill line here. Some are fuller than others. Uh, but this was only $6, so they were like 50 cents a piece. And again, I'm sure these are not just the best quality of acrylic powder, but I am just practicing and learning with colored acrylics, so I figured I would go cheap because I'm probably going to mess up immensely until I really get the hang of doing, you know, different colored acrylics and learning how to make it look good. So I got those to kind of practice with, and we'll see if they even work. Who knows? Um, next, I got three bags of swatch sticks. These were $3.64 a piece. Normally I order these off of eBay, but I found them on the website and I'm actually down to my last pack, so I thought I would pick up some more. Um, each of these has 50 sticks in it and they have a little screw that you go, that you put through the middle and it makes like a little fan of nail sticks. I have mine on rings. But these are actually the better quality ones. I have, I have ordered 
nail swatch sticks twice. The first time I ordered them, they were like these. They're harder plastic and the handle is a little bit longer. So if you want to write the name of the polish, you have a little bit um, more length to do that. So the first ones I ever ordered were like these and I loved them. I ran out. I ordered more and I thought they would be exactly the same. When my second order arrived, and it wasn't from this website, I, I believe it was off of eBay, they arrived and they were more flimsy and they were like half an inch shorter. But of course, I didn't want to waste them, so I went ahead and used them. But when they're on my rings with my other swatch sticks, they're visibly shorter and it looks not uniform and it kind of drives me nuts, but I'm not going to redo them and waste them. But regardless, I'm happy I got the better quality ones this time. So I got three bags of those. There's 50 in each bag. So that's 150 nail polishes that I now have permission to buy. <laughs> no, this will probably last me a, a good year, I would assume. I've slowed down a little bit on buying nail polish because I'm trying to use up some of my new ones first. So I stocked up on those. The next thing I got is totally weird. I don't know if you've seen these before, but you know I always have to have a weird item. And this is my weird item. So these are called wearable nail soakers. And basically they're these little alien fingers and you put your finger in them and you fill them with acetone. So if you have on gel nails or acrylic nails or something that takes a lot of soaking, instead of sitting there with a bowl, you put these on your finger like so. And you have a little alien finger and you fill it with acetone. Now, the only thing I am concerned with is that the acetone is going to leak out of the bottom and no matter if they say that it won't I am so sure that it will but I've always wanted to try these and see if they actually work so they were only like four dollars and I bought them sorry three dollars and ninety cents not even four dollars so I thought I'd try those because sometimes um, when I'm ready to switch out my acrylic nails, most of, them, most of them will pop right off. But usually my thumb is really stubborn and I have to only soak my thumb. So I figure I can put one of these babies on my thumb for like 20 minutes before I even try to take my nails off and maybe it will make the process easier. So wearable alien finger nail soakers. Interesting and hilarious. We will see what happens. <laughs> um, okay. The next item, second to last item, is some more nail forms. I showed you my nail forms last night in that video, but I really like them. And since these were super cheap, these were only $4.36, was, which was about, about $2 cheaper than what I paid for mine, I thought I'd get a backup set because I think I've already lost one of my nail forms. They're clear, and if you drop them, you literally cannot find them. So, um, I got an extra set because I have a feeling they're going to kind of disappear. Alright, the last item I ordered actually was broken, which I'm mad about, but I put super glue on it and I have it sitting over on the table and I'm hoping it will dry back together. Um, the last thing I ordered was a little nail art display and it comes with 30 little sticks like this and it has a nail tip at the top and I was, I'm figuring if I find a good combination of polishes that stamps really good, sometimes I want to remember it because then I forget, okay, what stamps good over this? and whatever so I figured this would be a great way to keep track of that and it came with this little display that had little holes in it and you put them in the holes and it kind of stands them up as a display but it was cracked in half so I put super glue on it and I have it sitting the way it's supposed to look so I'm really hoping that if I just leave it alone for a couple hours it will glue back together. It may not look perfect, but I'm hoping I can fix it. It was four dollars, so I'm not gonna have them replace it or complain. It was four bucks, but um, I still have the little sticks, the little display sticks, so I can find another place to put those if it doesn't um, glue back together. So yeah, so there's my blabbing. Those are the items that I bought. If you have any questions, post them below and I will try my best to comment back even though YouTube has completely destroyed all commenting on YouTube and I hate them for it. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So sorry for babbling and taking up your time. I will see you in my next video. Ladies, have a wonderful evening. Bye.